Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat with me. I'm Catherine Oster, and uh, in real time, it's actually July 29th here. I live in Saskatchewan, Canada. It's summer, it's gonna be hot today, like over 30, like 30 degrees Celsius feels like 35 with the humidity, which is actually pretty warm. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, mom. Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me. So I am, I'm a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness and Coffee Chat is all about how I have used all these tools tools <laughs> the hammer and the nails and the screwdriver and the saw good morning linda to actually change things and create things differently in my life and one of the biggest areas one of the first areas that i started to create change using these tools good morning tanya is with money and how money was for me so I took my very first foundation class in November of 2014 and um, and I started in that class we talked about having money and what it takes to have money. Good morning Robert. So basically, hi Joy, basically with money there's there's three things that you do with it. You get money, you spend money, and you can have money three things, three activities with money. Now, for me, back then in 2014, I was okay with getting money. You know, I had a job, so I was collecting a regular paycheck. Um, I believe I was teaching a few writing lessons, so I basically had two streams of income coming into my life. So I was, I could get money. Um, and I was really, really good at spending money. <laughs> like, all the money I got, I spent. And I spent more than I had. You know, I was always into the line of credit I had on my bank account. But I was like, okay, you know, um, I, I was comfortable with that reality. And I honestly didn't know that there was another way to be with money. Like, I could see other people that appeared to have more money than me because they had more things. Um, but I didn't really... I couldn't get there, you know, I didn't know how. And when I took my first foundation class, um, we talked about money and creating money and things that you can choose. And it wasn't hard. And I'm going to tell you one thing today that you're probably not going to do. You're probably going to think you can't and you're going to ignore it and um, you're not going to take any action on it. And your money flows will stay the same as they are. That's cool. Or you could test it out and you could see what gets created after a month of choosing to have more money. Now having money was where I lacked in the beginning. I didn't know how to have money. I just thought you got it and you spent it. Um, and I felt like I didn't have enough money coming in to be able to allow myself to have it. But that wasn't actually true. So in the foundation class, we talked about the 10% account, an honoring account for you, um, where you take 10% of all of the money that flows into your life and you pay yourself in an honoring bank account or in cash as cash on hand. And, um, and in the beginning, I was like, Jesus, I can't even afford to do this because, because, so notice when you say the word because, after you say the word because, you're telling yourself a reason and a justification of why you can't choose something. Now, my because was, because I don't even have enough money as it is. I'm always in my overdraft. Like, I can't even afford to do this tool. And that's what I told myself. And that didn't, that, that kept me stuck. And I think it took me like a month or two months before I chose it. And what I started doing was I started with 5%. 5% of 
with just something. <clears throat> And I got paid, um, I kept it as cash in the beginning. So that's another thing you can have is just like carrying cash with you. We'll talk more about that next week. But um, in the beginning, I kept my 10% as cash. But I only took 5% in the beginning because I didn't believe that I had enough money to actually do the full 10%. And I told myself, the worst case scenario at the end of the month, or if I'm getting close to the end of the month, and I really, really have to spend this money, you know, to buy groceries or pay a bill or whatever, I will. So I gave myself a little bit of choice there. I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room and I'm like, I'm just going to try it for a month and see what this actually does, if this actually works. And I got to the end of that first month of choosing my 10% account, well, 5% in the beginning, and I believe the next month I bumped it up to 10% because I actually started making a different choice with money and I actually allowed myself to have it and other money actually showed up to support me in the choice to honor myself. I don't remember exactly how that money showed up. I think maybe it was more writing lessons or something like that. So I still actually had enough money to like get through the month while having 5% for me. And I was, I'm not gonna lie, like I was pretty shocked. I didn't think that could actually work. So from that moment on, I have had a 10% account. And so that's been eight years now and it's grown. And every, like I have always more money than I've ever had before. And then I really had to look at where I liked to make money a problem when it wasn't actually a problem because now I had this money. Anyway, so if you haven't started a 10% account yet or a 5% account, hey Kristen, I challenge you, I dare you to choose it for a month and see what it creates and then commit to six months. Um, and I notice what happens, hey Loretta, is some people will get to a certain amount in their 10% account, let's say it's $5,000, and then it'll get so uncomfortable for them to have that amount of money that something, something will get created in their life where they will possibly really look at spending that money. And it's okay if you do. I mean, I've done that too. I've spent some of my 10% account money, but then I've always committed to paying it back. Um, so it's just engaging differently. But anyway, there's this really brilliant book, Getting Out of Debt Joyfully. And there's a chapter in here, chapter seven, about having money. And I'm gonna read this now, because we're gonna get a few more, a little more tools and some more information from the book. Okay. So allowing yourself to truly have money creates an ongoing sense of abundance and wealth in your life that will contribute to you creating a greater financial future. How do you start to have more money in your life and create that sense of wealth and abundance? Well, <clears throat> Having money, the 10% account. One of the first important money tools that I would like to give you is putting away 10% of everything you earn. 10% of every single dollar, euro, pound, or whatever currency you create. You're not setting it aside to pay bills with. You're not saving it for a rainy day. It is not for when you run out of money and it's not to pay a big bill that is upcoming. It's not to help out a friend. It's not for buying Christmas presents. It's for none of those things. You are putting it away as an honoring of you. <clears throat> oh, Loretta. Loretta's done it. She hasn't spent it, but I owe my 10% account $2,000. I don't seem to be able to transfer that amount out of my checking account. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder, is it true that you owe your 10% account $2,000? Or is that a conclusion? 
Anyway, we can ask more questions about that, but maybe, I wonder, anyway, there's just something there with that. Okay. People say, I've got bills to pay. How can I put away 10% of my income? I have to pay my bills first. But here's the thing. If you pay your bills first, you will always have more bills. When you pay the bills first, the universe says, oh, okay, this person wishes to honor their bills. Let's give them some more bills. If you honor yourself first by setting aside 10%, the universe says, oh, they're willing to honor themselves. They're willing to have more. And it responds to that and it will give you more. Okay, Loretta, it's something about honoring me. Okay, cool. Yes, okay, cool, you're clear about it. So, I mean, I wonder, what would it take? What would it create if you, how else could you get the money into your honoring account if you didn't transfer it from your checking account? I wonder. Setting aside 10% is gifting to you. Ha! There you go. You got it. It's about being grateful for yourself. Setting aside 10% is about gifting to yourself. It's about being grateful for yourself. Yeah. When I first did my 10% account, I was doing it grudgingly because somebody told me I had to do it. The 10% account will not work if you do it from the point of view that this person said I should do it. You have to do it for you. You have to do it to change the energy that you have around finances and the energy you have around money. Not just because I said so or somebody else said so or access consciousness said so. You need to start making the demand to create a reality. So you can ask, what would it take for this to be a choice for me and not a necessity? What is the worst thing that can happen? That's kind of what I told myself too. What's the worst that will happen if I try this? You spend it. <clears throat> but you cannot do it from the point of view that you are going to spend it. <clears throat> After around three or four months of starting my 10% account, the energy of money changed for me. And I no longer had this panic about money. How many of you have a panic about money or a stress about money? And that has become more normal to you than not. If you look at the energy of this, it's contractive. It's like throwing the depressing party that money doesn't want to show up to. Money follows joy. Joy doesn't follow money. So that is coffee chat for today. And this book is brilliant. And if you'd like to get yourself a copy, I will put a link with this video shortly. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, send me a message. Thank you guys for showing up and joining me live for coffee chat today. And to those of you in the future watching this, thank you. Mwah. Have an amazing day, wherever you are, whatever you are up to. What else is possible beyond what you could ever imagine? And if you got something out of this video and you would like to share it, I would be so grateful. Oh, Tanya, what did she type in? Tanya, the 10% account has changed the energy of money for me. Things I used to think were expensive and I couldn't afford. Not Jane, no charge. And I know I could have and do anything. Yeah, it's created more choice for you. How does it get better? Tanya took a foundation class with me like a few years ago. So did Loretta. <laughs> a lot of you guys have actually. Anyway, I'm grateful for you all. Oh, and I'm just going to mention, if you are interested in bars and foundation, um, I am facilitating a bars and foundation, bars with Tanya, and Tanya's hosting the foundation class at her place near Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan in August. Like August 17th is bars and 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st is foundation. And so if you'd love to join us live, we'd love to have you. You can also go to accessconsciousness.com because there's literally these classes happening all over the world. Okay, bye-bye.